futures thinking. Seeing the world as it may be, rather than it is, and being empowered to change it is an important skill for all students to develop so that they are able to conceptualize X problems and X solutions. Now they need to understand that there is more than one possible future and that they can help make the one they want come about. That probability gives us the chance of something happening, but predictions are the informed guesses from a range of possible outcomes. That trends in data about problems can help us see what has occurred and by extrapolating this data into the future can help us see what may happen. And forecasts let us take trends and consider what the world would be like if the best, worst and most likely outcomes of such trends takes place. Students should be able to develop a futures wheel of possible trend outcomes and use this to make informed predictions about the future and how such predictions can assist us in solving X problems. And they should appreciate that there are different approaches to describing the future. And the one which is used can often depend upon the difficulty of the X problem involved. Solvable challenges, those that we know how to solve and have done so in the past, often use forecasting to highlight the different approaches to solving the problem. Difficult problems that we know how to solve but haven't, generally because of their difficulty and complexity, can use scenarios to better understand the problem and why it has not yet been solved. And then we have wicked problems, those that we don't know how to solve, but these can be approached through the use of backcasting. Collectively, these approaches provide students with a set of tools in which to better understand what may occur. And by providing them with this understanding of how problems have been tackled in the past and the steps that can be used to tackle them in the future, they can go on and use X problems and X solutions to solve some of the world's really complex problems. Of course, they may not be able to do so just yet, but the students should be able to identify a particular X problem that their X solution will address. And while it may not in itself be sufficient to bring about the preferred future they envisage, it will contribute in a meaningful way to this occurring, regardless of the scope, scale or time frame involved. So a year two student developing an infographic solution to school littering is contributing to the global issue of resource scarcity and pollution as much as a year 10 student developing an app that brings together consumers to repurpose goods. It is the perspective and empowerment they gain to identify and contribute to the future they want to live in that is the power of futures thinking.